For the past few videos, we've been showing you all the great stuff Tokorozawa Sakura Town has to offer. But we also want to show you four more fun places within reachable distance worth noting down for your visit. So let's get to it! Tokorozawa Aviation Museum is for you aviation buffs. Japan's first airfield was right here and is the birthplace of Japanese aviation history. The main exhibit area is where all the aircraft are, including helis, light planes, and gliders, all kept in good condition. Some exhibits on the showroom floor have open cockpits for up-close inspection. For kids, there's a flight lab area for some hands-on learning. Using aircraft models like how wind affects flight stability, to learning basic helicopter maneuvers, and more. On the second floor, there's a digital flight simulator, which lets you practice your piloting skills. Seibu Amusement Park is great for a family day out. Straight from the gate is a shopping street pulled out of a 1960s Japanese movie set. There are spontaneous live street shows and performances throughout the day which the audience can participate in and won't require much Japanese to understand and enjoy. There's lots of props for fun photo opportunities and friendly staff posing as shop owners that interact with you. Kitty rides of carnival classics like the Jet Coaster or Red Baron type rides will bring the thrill seeking spirit out of the little ones. And then there's a 4D Godzilla ride which thrusts you into a fierce battle between Godzilla and King Ghidorah using motion, wind, and mist spray for a surreal experience. The historical townscape of Kuedo Kawagoe is a wildly popular one-day trip, heavily featured on social media and travel blogs. A trip out to Kawagoe is a trip back in time to the Edo period, between 1603 to 1867. Distinct old warehouse buildings called Kura line the main shopping street many of which have been converted into shops and restaurants today. Off the main street is a maze of stone-paved back streets with even more shops, cafes, and street food nested within for your exploration. If you want to look the part, you can rent a kimono from a rental shop in the area. Escape the city into the surrounds of Nordic nature at Moomin Valley Park, a theme park based on the Moomin world created by Finnish author and artist Tove Jansen, and the first outside of Finland. Visit the iconic Moomin house to see faithful recreations of the characters' dwellings. Dance and sing along to the outdoor theater shows and learn more about Moomin history at the exhibition facility Kokomus, including the character's development and about the author herself. Lastly, there's also an outdoor playground at the top of Lonely Mountain for the kids to unwind. When you're ready to head back, jump on the zip line for a scenic detour over the lake back to the park entrance. That wraps up this video. We hope these suggestions have sparked some travel ideas that will help fill your itinerary for your next visit to Japan. Definitely let us know if you went and how it was in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next, so it's bye-bye for now!